Okay, I want to give you a brief uh, introduction to a concept called the Felicity's Trap or the Felicity's Puzzle. So Felicity's was a, a story in ancient Greece, and he saw the first transfer of power that he called the named after him, and it was between uh, Sparta and Athens. So the general idea behind the Felicity's Trap is the dominant world power at the time will be challenged by the upcoming world power and uh, the dominant world power will fight as a rule to keep its place uh, now uh, Sparta beat Athens but it was so weakened it, it caused the collapse uh, which which brought about uh, the overtaking by Alexander the Great but uh, let's let's talk about so the handoff of power from Great Britain to the U.S. occurred at uh, just before the end of World War II, where uh, the Bretton Woods Agreement it was it was agreed that the U.S. would be the world currency, and Great Britain and the U.S. are, for all intents and purposes, the same country. The people that run it run run the U.S. They're all related. All the presidents of the United States, except for Martin Van Buren which actually includes Obama. Obama was, uh, is remember, is a third cousin. His mom was 100% Irish, uh, was like the third or fourth cousin removed from Dick Cheney. So all the presidents, except for Martin Van Buren, are related. Uh, you've heard of the six steps to Kevin Bacon, about three steps. They're all related. And uh, the English, the, the people that, are, that run the world uh, are the same people that have been running the world since the, uh, Battle of Hastings, but anyway, back to the, the Felicity's trap. So, the the dominant world power, which would be us, is going to be challenged, or we're going to have to put down the challenge of China, the upcoming world power. So, this is, I'm explaining the Felicity's trap. I don't think it's actually going to play out, but I'm going to give you an explanation of what we would have to do. So, these are showing troop strengths uh, at the beginning of the war and the end of the war, and. Uh, you know, they've gone up almost five times across the board here. Uh, yeah, and that, and that one, uh, uh, the Marine Corps are, are jumped up exponentially. There was 54,000 plus at the beginning of the war and 474,000 plus at the end. Uh, and, and it goes on and on the same way here. The Navy, the Army, uh, of course the U.S. Army Air Force at the time, now we have a separate branch. Now the way the the way the U.S. military splits up, uh, divvies up the money for the forces, it's a third across the board. So the Navy gets a third, the Army gets a third, and the Air Force gets a third. It's kind of a political thing. But if we're going to engage in a Felicity's Trap style war with China, uh, we're going to have to up the Navy. And it's specifically the Marines, because we'll basically be refighting the Battle of World War II across the Pacific. And we're going to wipe them out in the deep water. China is, is, is much like Sparta. They are an army power, but their navy power is, is iffy at best. So it'll be a lot like uh, Athens against Sparta when we fight China. Uh, but in this case, uh, in the Second World War, China was our ally against Japan. And in this one, uh, Japan will be our ally against China. It's going to be kind of strange if it actually plays out that way. And it's going to be a logistics war. Now, I don't think you can see it here, but this whole area that I'm sitting on is a giant Mercator map of the world. So this is going to be a logistical battle. But basically, we're going to be... Uh, China has a thing called the Seven Dash Line. And, you know, they've been making uh, artificial islands in the... South China Sea uh, to claim claim areas that they traditionally held. Uh, so we're going to basically refight all the islands, all the island battles of World War II. But uh, to overcome the Felicity's trap, uh, Ch China is also uh, dominated. The reason that there's a big giant population in China is the, is the broad plain of China. Is, is has got a mild tempered zone so they can grow two rice crops well we're gonna we're gonna take that out real fast so 
time will go against them on that. We have oil, they don't. They have a lot of coal, but they don't have a lot of oil. So we'll choke them out. And the Felicity's Trap will be beaten back on this one. And the Felicity's Trap played itself out. Uh, Spain against England. Uh, Spain uh, obviously sent the Armada against England and the hurricane kind of screwed that up. Uh, and England was the dominant power. Uh, the, uh, the Felicity's Trap uh, also played out in the Battle of Hastings. And although in that thing it was two families of Vikings, uh, Harold Hatterson uh, against uh, uh, William the Conqueror, who at the time was known as William the Bastard. Uh, but in, in that battle, uh, it was over, was Britain or England, was England going to be aligned with the northern countries or with Europe? Well, uh, William the Conqueror was from Normandy, which means the Northmen. He was actually a Viking. Just remember the Vikings actually controlled the north part of Europe right then. And so with him winning that, England was allied with Europe as opposed to Norway and all that area there. So the Felicity's Trap plays itself out a lot. I think we're not gonna experience it for a while. I don't even think it's actually gonna happen, but that's that's the general gist of the Felicity's Trap. Uh, so they'll have to refight the Pacific War and uh, we'll have to up the Marines and the Navy and get rid of that, that, that thing, that third, third, third in each of the, each of the services. Uh, thank you. I'm out. Please like, share, and subscribe.